We moved over into the zombie section at Gods and Monsters at the Artagon Marketplace, and I have a flesh eater right next to me, Tim Proctor from The Walking Dead. Hello, Tim. Hey. You're actually talking. I thought the I zombies know. snarl and growl. Yeah, we like I said, we've evolved. You, know? you have evolved. Yeah, we have an we have a an advanced zombie with me right now. Now, how are things going for you at at the big event here, the one year anniversary? It's great. I mean, the place has been pretty packed. I mean, from what I can see, you know, I love the place. So, not to break the illusion, it's is it kind of hard to see with uh, the eyes? It's not that bad. You got about 80% vision right now, so I can kind of see. Just like I'm in fog, it's very cloudy. That's the way I am all the time. Yeah. yeah. Walk around in a haze. I take these off. It's like, you know, I, I have that going all the time. Right. Now, one of the things I know some people don't realize is you're an actual artist. You That's what you do all the time when you're not as a zombie. Yeah, that's my full-time job is I do illustrations and, you know, I do commissions and stuff like that. So, so you consider yourself an illustrator? Yes. Okay. Yes. But you work in other areas, too, mediums, right? Like tile and things like well, that? Well, I do bead art, like perler beads. I do, like, large portraits. Um, Largest one being like 22,000 beads, you know, like it's... How long did a 22,000 bead object take? Um, from start to finish, yes. maybe about a week. Amazing. His work is gorgeous. I love the bead art. Uh, you can see that probably on your Facebook page, I would assume. Um, on my website or my Facebook page, yeah. Okay. And do you do commissions if somebody says, hey, I got an idea for something? Absolutely. That's a lot of, the majority of what I do is commissions, so... Really? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, whether it's the bead art portraits or it's you know like paintings or you know even animal portraits, I do pretty much everything. So see, I asked somebody earlier because I'm kind of curious that some people will not touch animals for some reason and that, but you do animal work as well. What I started doing after I got out of art college. I didn't do a lot of art for about eight years, and I kind of getting back into art. I started with pet portraits, and then I kind of went doing sketch cards and stuff like that. So yeah. And you do sketch cards. As well, zombie-wise, or um, I do sketch cards for The Walking Dead, That's trading right. cards, Star yeah. Wars, Lord of the Rings, uh, Mars Attacks, Hobbit, like all kinds of stuff. That's quite a few. Yeah, it keeps you busy. So, yeah, do they give you an idea what to do with the sketch cards ahead of time, or do um, they turn you loose? They'll yeah, they'll have instructions on what we can or can't draw. If there's a likeness that we can or can't can't do, so. Do they give you access to things to use for, you know, reference points or anything? Uh, really just our own reference. I'll go online, look really? for, you know, or I'll watch the film or whatever I need to do. Yeah. We have to ask the questions of now that probably are so boring to you that you've been asked 100 billion times, but how long did this take? Generally, full makeup takes about an hour and a half to two hours. We actually spend a little more time on it uh, today. We probably, I don't know, maybe three hours. I lose track of time, but... Does, does that itch at all? The spirit glue gum I'm assuming no. you're using? No, not at all. And the contacts don't hurt or anything? No. It's just a little bit cloudy. Other than that, it's it's not bad. Now, the very first time you zombified, you, you got made up, do you remember, was it, were you prepared for it? Did somebody say it's going to be like this and was it like what they told you or was it um, just totally you different? Mean on the show? Or yeah, you on, on the show. On, on the show? The first time. Well, I kind of, I knew a lot of people that had worked on the show, you know, I talked to them, you know, but they said, you know, just be prepared because there's a lot of fans out there and it can be a little crazy if you're, you know, if you're featured or you have photos out there. But um, my first day on the set, I was in the full hero makeup with the lenses and the contacts and I knew what hero meant. So when I show up, they're like, yeah, we have our three heroes for this scene. I'm like, so I was pretty excited because that was the first time on and I was like, got the full makeup. So that was pretty fun. Like, so what did Tim do, just out of curiosity, because you wanted to be on this show really bad, right? You're a big fan. Right. This was what you wanted. What was, when you got it done, I mean, were you like a, a five-year-old kid in a toy store? I mean, did you did you text family, friends, or call them? Uh, or, were you to, or were you restricted? Yeah, yeah, I really couldn't talk about it. Um, I probably went maybe six or seven months before I even publicly told anybody that I was even on the show for the first time I was on the show. So I had to hold it in to all my friends and not, you know, Obviously, there's some family members that know because you have like you know emergency contacts and stuff right. like that, you know. But um, as far as just letting my friends know, it was like a six or seven month wait. Wow. And so, although I did get to post about Zombie School because there was a photo or there was a video on Zombie School Walker University right. that aired and people spotted me on that, so they kind of knew. But I was like, but that doesn't mean I'm on the show yet, you know. So I kind of because it doesn't necessarily. But um, yeah, they spotted me on the the Zombie School, even though it was like. A half a second, but they spotted it. So, do do they have to do retakes with the the zombie scenes and, and stuff? Oh, uh, we do many takes on the show. Like, I mean, depends. You know, depends on the scene. You know, they'll do different angles and different takes. So, 
You know, I don't go into all their details about what we they can't do, do that. But, but I mean, yeah, I mean, as with any film or movie or whatever, you know, you're going to do multiple angles and multiple takes, you know, to see what works best. So yeah. Well, I won't ask any more questions because we don't want to get him in trouble. That's what that's our key. Here. No, and, and then myself in trouble because I got you in trouble. We don't want to do that. Your art. Can people purchase it online and make commissions with you online and um, stuff they like? Can contact me through my website or on Facebook. Okay. And um, as far as prints, yeah, they, I haven't. The prints aren't really set up to be purchased online right now, um, but they can contact me if there's anything that they want. Okay. And yeah, so. one last question. Uh, let's see. Where will you be next? You know, the, while when we upload this. It's all over for Gods and Monsters. Not the store, but this event. Where will you be next? Uh, the next event is in Lebanon, Missouri at the Lebanon Comic Con. And then in July, I'll be going up to, I think it's Monster Fest Mania in Ohio. And then I have the Akron Comic Con coming up in Ohio. And there's a couple others I have to, I don't know off the top of my head. I can't remember them all, but. And I will check. I think you're at at least one or two conventions in Florida later in the year that we Claremont. will be. Yes. The Claremont Comic Con. Yes. Yes. I forgot that one, but yeah, that's coming up later in the year. Yeah, That's in November. Uh, he, I, us, we'll all be together. Yeah. We'll do it again. We'll put links to your Facebook page, to your website, right on our website, RileyandKimmy.com. Tim, I'll let you get back to the fans. I hope you'll come back on the show and we can talk more about art and also maybe zombies and stuff. Absolutely. Anytime.